Hello students, in this video we will cover the basics of network exploitations, so without wasting our time let's get started. What does it mean by network exploitation? Computer network exploitation refers to the ability to exploit data or information a person has gathered on a target for his or her own purposes, and it is the phase of cyber warfare being experienced globally today. Before exploiting the network we have to know more about our target. When it comes to hacking, knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have about a target system or network, the more options you have available. This makes it imperative that proper enumeration is carried out before any exploitation attempts are made. Say we have been given an IP or multiple IP addresses to perform a security audit on. Before we do anything else, we have to gather information as much as possible. So let's get started with practice with Nmap. Nmap is a network exploration tool and security port scanner. You can use Nmap using CLI or command line interface and GUI or graphical user interface which is called Zenmap. In our case, we have to scan this site which is scanme.nmap.org for vulnerabilities. For more information about Nmap just type on your terminal man Nmap. Let's scan our given site with a well-known scan methodology, like port scan, ping scan, and script scan which is NSE or Nmap scripting engine. For NSE or Nmap scripting scan I have listed syntax on the right corner of the terminal. First, let's scan for ping scan or internet control message protocol. Just type on your terminal as I do. As you can see from the output of this scan, only checks if the host is down or alive. If the host or the target is alive, you can see the given output otherwise you can't see. We are done with the ping scan. Let's get started with the port scan. There are 65,535 ports, and let's scan them. As I told you before just follow me. From the output, we can understand more details about our targets, for example, if we see simply the output, two ports are open, and one port is filtered, port number 22 is open, that tells us SSH or secure shell is enabled on the target server and port number 80 is also open, that tells us HTTP or hypertext transfer protocol is enabled. But unfortunately, when we see port number 25 this will tell us the SMTP, or simple mail transfer protocol is filtered which means the firewall is blocking our connection to the SMTP server. I think we are done with the port scan let's continue with NSE or Nmap scripting scan engine. As I told you before just follow me and see the syntax for NSE. The Nmap scripting engine NSE, is an incredibly powerful addition to the Nmap, extending its functionality quite considerably. NSE scripts are written in the Lua programming language and can be used to do a variety of things. From scanning for vulnerabilities to automating exploits for them. In our case we have to use some NSE scripts, like Vuln, Safe, and Exploit. If you are interested you can scan with all NSE scripts. Let's start with the Vuln NSE script first, then with the Safe NSE script, and finally, we will continue with exploiting NSE scripts.
The Vuln NSE scripts take too much time to display the output. Please be patient till it is finished. But in this video, we will use some algorithms. By setting the host timeout to 1 second and looking for the IP address of the given target with the NS lookup command. If the vulnerability exists exploit it, otherwise find another one. In my case no vulnerability was found, because of the timeout we are specified to the target. Let's perform another NSE script that is safe. And finally, we will use the exploit NSE script to exploit our target. If the vulnerability exists exploit it, otherwise find another one. In my case no vulnerability was found, because of the timeout we are specified to the target. Let's perform another NSE script that is safe. And finally, we will use the exploit NSE script to exploit our target. If you have any suggestions regardless of network exploitation please leave a comment.